Yo, first things first, currently headed to Bape because they have a pair of shorts that I really want. Got the Bape logo right there, but these are actually reversible. And then after that, I'm actually meeting up with another homie. He's actually selling me a pair of sneakers for retail, a pair of shoes that are reselling for a couple hundred bucks, but because he has a good heart, he's selling me these shoes for retail, whether it's the weekend, a weekday, whatever it may be. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you guys have the best week or weekend you can have. Oh, also, yeah, subscribe, join the crew. Welcome to the underdog season. As I go to the Bape store and I get these sneakers, I'm gonna quickly flash back to my trip out in Lake Tahoe, my favorite place in the entire world. It was amazing, and I put together a little, little B-roll package for you guys to check out the trip. Enjoy. Beautiful Lake Tahoe, beautiful vibe. here on Melrose. I don't say that too often anymore. Melrose is now the land of TikTokers, so I try to stay away from this area, but we're by the Bape store, not really by like round two and cool kicks and all that stuff. So I'm excited, man. I've been trying to cop these shoes for like two weeks now. It's just been, it's been so hard to just get any sneaker for retail. I feel like everyone's just going after every release these days. It used to be that you would go for the shoes that you wanted, but now people are just going for everything. GRs, limited releases, everything. Like can't get anything these days. Sorry guys, I'm on like a little video right now but i gotta say i'm excited man i want y'all to do me a favor too comment down below what was your last w like what was the last shoe that was going for a lot that you got for a retail price so comment down below i want to respond to some of you guys and also click that like button my mask looks like my beard kind of i hope so yo shout out to my guy right here hey. pulled up show him a little preview oh retail you know retail boys yo, don't resell kobe's retail right there don't resell kobe's appreciate you man thank you. you oh my god look how many pairs he has is that what you were doing earlier yes sir oh yeah i haven't seen these i was trying to get them but i didn't want to pay resale i was just trying to get these for retail because yeah. i'm not too crazy for them but you wanna... bro I, I came for one but i'm leaving for two hey retail gang retail <laughs> gang you're the real plug guys go follow him man Oh man, I did not expect to be getting two shoes right now. Shout out to my guy, Fitz God. Make sure you guys go follow him. That's what I'm talking about. That's what it's about. If you got a homie and he really wants a shoe, you got to give it to him for retail, man. Because, you know, in the long run, in a few months or whenever there's a shoe that, that you get and your homie needs and you could break them off for retail. It's all about, you know, taking care of scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. That's how it should be in the sneaker game. I know a lot of people are in the situation where they need the money, so they have to charge tax. But if you're comfortable, if you're chilling, and you know one of your friends really wants a pair of shoes like how I really wanted those Kobe's it, it'll be cool to look out for him man in the long run so it's good karma it's definitely good karma anyway we're gonna go to the crib right now I'm excited to check these shoes out I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a look at the bio hacks you know what I'm saying I'm surprised like they even sold out because I was expecting these to not go for that much came for one and we left with two baby let's go all right guys so we are back at the crib right now and honestly I am so super excited i was not expecting this but i got a few packages in the mail and it's crazy because i actually woke up this morning to buy this shoe and it was sold out <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, man. I am so greasy and grimy. I'm gonna go shower and i'm gonna check back in with you guys literally in like less than a second. So Bruh. And now we are fresh and clean. My beard is still grimy, I know, but you know, at least I took a shower so I smell good. Let's get into the shoes now. I'm gonna save the one that I just got in the mail for last. These two right here, obviously on top, we've got the Kobe Pro Tro 5s right here in the big stage. I have just been dying to own this shoe. Kobe won his fifth championship in this shoe right here. It was actually in this colorway right here with the white and gold. And then during the championship parade, he wore a colorway that was similar to what you see on the outside of the shoe so it's actually cool how they did this because one of the shoes is that colorway and then the other shoe is this colorway and then it's reversed on both of the shoes so it's like half and half i know i'm not a hooper hooper i'm not a hooper i'm kind of just like a hoop 
with a little bit of an ER at the end. But yeah, I know that Kobe, he would want me to play basketball in these. And as much as I want to play basketball in these and put them to what they were made for, uh, this is like one of those shoes where it's like, I don't know, man, I want to play basketball in these, but then I don't want to play basketball in these. If I get the undefeated pack, 100% I'm playing basketball in one of those, but I'm tempted to put these on court. Like I don't want to mess them up because they are primarily white, but that's what Kobe's are made for. You know, if you're a Kobe fan, you want to play basketball in Kobe's. So that was the sneaker I was planning to purchase. And then these were sitting in his trunk and he offered them to me for retail. So I had to pull the trigger. Oh. So this is a pretty wild colorway. Like there's a lot going on with this shoe. This isn't your typical Jordan one. The inspiration behind this shoe is actually a pair of dunks. Like I honestly didn't even know that. I had to see it on like a sneaker blog. So I'm not gonna sit here and try to act like I knew that or I'm like the smartest sneakerhead on the planet. You guys know me when it comes to dunks. Comment down below what I'm about to say. Yeah, it's it's interesting, man. Uh, this is one of those shoes where if I was unable to get them for retail, I would not go crazy for them. Like I would not see myself paying resale for this shoe. You guys know how I am with sneakers. This might be one that I react to in like a year and say I used to have those, or maybe it will stay in the collection. We'll see. I also do like how the flap right here, if you leave it hanging, it has green on it. I wish I had the regular Nike Air on the tongue. I'm not a huge fan of the tongue being like this. It's like more like a patch. I think that's kind of ugly, but yeah, man. Two great retail pickups right here. Let me know which one you guys think is the biggest W out of these two. I personally think it's the Kobe's. We talked about those two, and like I mentioned, I did get sent a pair of sneakers today that I was not expecting. These shoes actually did come out this morning as well, and they did sell out. I woke up like an hour late, and I was I thought they were gonna be easy to cop, so I didn't really stress about waking up on time, and I tried to get them, and they were just sold out. So it's pretty crazy to me that like a few hours later, I get a notification that a package just arrived from this company which I'm not gonna say their name yet and for some reason I'm like bro it has to be that shoe it has to be the shoe that I want hit the intro <laughs> These, ladies and gentlemen, are the Puma RS Dreamer Super Mario Edition. Super Mario 64, to be specific, the game, the Nintendo 64 system was one of the best games of all time, in my opinion. Like, that game was so fun. It was literally my childhood. That was the game, one of the best games of all time. So Puma dropped this shoe in collaboration with them. Now, this originally was the J. Cole sneaker. If you guys remember, the Dreamer was the J. Cole sneaker so I'm not sure if this is a technically still a J. Cole sneaker because it's more of a Super Mario theme but I think they base it on not the model of the shoe but the colorway of the shoe so that that first one was the J. Cole this one right here is the Super Mario 64 so yeah I tried to get these this morning they they sold out which I'm honestly kind of surprised on but the colorway is sick obviously you got the blue and the red for Mario himself but the cool thing is that they kind of did a fade right here and it reminds me of the sky in the video game if you used to look up you would see the sky and it was just like, I don't know, it just, it's cool that they put that on the shoe because that's what it reminds me of. On the tongue, we got the Super Mario right there. And then my favorite feature on the whole shoe is the star on the back right there. That is obviously the goal of the whole video game was to collect the stars right there. So it's cool that they featured that on both of the shoes. And then I gotta take the insoles out because the insoles is one of the best parts as well. I've said this multiple times, like I feel like Puma is the underdog. Like I feel like that's why I like their brand so much is because I see myself as the underdog and I feel like they are the underdog in the world of hoops and the world of streetwear like obviously Nike and Adidas they get a lot of credit for just being at the top but one of the brands that I feel like is out there trying to prove themselves and has done a great job is Puma so that's why I like rocking them and I love repping their brand and I love some of the stuff they're doing these days because they're super 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 underrated so on one of the insoles you got the Super Mario 64 logo and then on the other insert you got my guy Mario with the wings flying around. This was actually the same picture of him on the cover of the video game. So it's cool that they included both of those right there on the insoles. So yeah, I might actually bust these out on court. I was thinking about playing in the Kobe's, but I haven't made up my mind. I might take these with me and then maybe take the Kobe, a pair of Kobe's for some backup. Oh, let's not also forget about the box because the box is crazy. The box has a whole bunch of graphics from not only Mario 64, but a whole bunch of other Mario games, like the classic Super Mario and all these other Mario games. And it's just like colored all around like Puma kills it with their collabs okay I'm not gonna name any names but there's some brands out there when they get an opportunity to collab they just botch it like they do not do a good job or they just choose the wrong shoe to do it on this is genius they did a good job with this Puma 
So yeah, those were my three new pickups. We got the Pumas right here, the RS Dreamer, Super Mario 64s. We got the Kobe 5 Pro Tro, big stages. And we got the new Jordan 1 Bio biohack i was gonna say biotech biohack yeah i apologize please do not thumbs down this video because of that